High Plains Technology says it's time for school. Good morning. This morning I have with me Bailey Joe and Carly. Um, they are two of our health career students at High Plains Technology Center. Second year students, both are from, um, attend Woodward High School. And so this morning they're going to visit with us a little about um, health careers and TOSA, which is their student organization, Career Tech student organization. And then um, we'll just uh, wrap it up a little bit about Suicide Prevention Month. So um, good morning, girls. Good morning. Good morning. Th thank you for being here with me. Um, so let's start by talking about, um, should we start with just health careers program in general? And um, maybe you can share your experience um, from last year and um, how much, um, what your favorite part of the class is maybe. So um, Bailey, Joe, you want to share um, a highlight of last year maybe from the program? Um, last year, I wasn't really a um, officer last year. I was just part of the community. But um, I really liked how everyone was pretty much included with it. Um, we did a lot of, like, fun conferences that we could go to. Uh -huh. And um, with that, we also had, like, host of competitions. And that was probably my favorite thing about last year. Last year. And um, so what are you um, focusing on in your studies or like getting certifications for in health careers this year? My certification this year will be for the vet assisting. Okay. And have you completed any certifications yet? Or is this year the year you'll be able to um, get those done? I believe last year we completed the mental health certifications. Okay but I'm not for sure on that yet. Okay. And then, um, so when you mentioned the conferences, that is the HOSA conferences, right? Like HOSA State. Yes. And so HOSA, HOSA is the um, st student organization. We have Skills USA and DECA and BPA. And so HOSA is the health care's one. It's for future healthcare professionals. And so... Um, both of you this year are officers, right? Yes. Okay. And what offices do you guys hold? I hold reporter. Okay. And I'm the activity representative. Awesome. And so last year, both of you went to that HOSA state conference. Is that what that conference was? Yes. yes. And you competed. And what did you compete in? We competed in health education. Okay. And with that, we um, made a presentation, a slides presentation that we presented to the senior circle up at the Woodward Hospital. Uh-huh. So tell us just a little bit about that presentation. We'll go ahead and talk about that just a little bit. That was on, because um, mental health is what you got certified in last year. And did you do that during Suicide Prevention Month when you went to the hospital, or was that a later date? We went to the hospital, I think it was about April. Okay. A little bit before April, a little bit before. And we went and just gave the presentation to them and everything and gave out surveys to see like kind of a feedback of how we did in our presentation and gave them stats and all of that. And okay. And was that the senior circle that they have? Yes. At the hospital? So um, tell us a little bit about um, suicide prevention. Maybe um, kind of what you shared, some um, help or some anything that you want to share about that. Um, well, we were explaining that with suicide and depression, it doesn't just target one group of people. It can be any age, any person, even a person of color. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't discriminate. Um, there are signs that y you could tell from, um, but most of the time those signs aren't showing as much depending on the person. Right. It's very subtle sometimes. Yeah. So, Carly, what was some um, feedback that stood out to you after you presented to that group? We got a lot of good things. Of course, a lot of them said, you know, you guys are, we could tell you were really nervous up there, but yeah. you refreshed the first presentation. Um, myself and another one who did the presentation with us had a guy come up to us after and said that really moved me and made me realize that I'm not by myself in this. Right. And he realized that it was time to go kind of get some help and actually not be ashamed of having issues with it. Right. So was that kind of life-changing to 
to get that feedback from someone after you've presented and and just shared with them? To me, with the entire experience of that, it didn't like a lot of people think going to state is the best part Uh of it. To me, just knowing that like I made an impact on someone, that's the best part about it to me. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a great thing with um, mental health, just having advocates. And I love that you guys were able to share some education. And it really does make a big difference when you just let others know they're seen and heard. And so that's pretty awesome. Um, So, Carly, tell us about um, your favorite thing. Okay, so you did kind of just share your favorite thing last year. And so this year, what is your um, focus on in health careers? I'm focusing on CNA and phlebotomy. Okay, awesome. And so CNA, um, we also have short-term classes at High Plains and phlebotomy short-term, but with you being in high school, you're able to get um, do that program throughout the year in health careers, and um, you'll um, complete the program with both those certifications and um, able to get really good jobs, all three of you, or all two of you with all those <laughs> certifications. So um, tell us about your guys' plans for host of this year in your um, offices that you hold. So we have a fundraiser going on right now to kind of raise money for the chapter and everything. It is $10 a ticket for a chance to win $1,000. And we have a bunch of, like, fundraisers going on the rest of the year. Throughout the rest of the year. Okay. So how could someone get one of those tickets? They can contact anyone from the AM or PM HOSA chapter or anybody in health careers. All of us are selling it. Okay. Okay. And if you're not following us on social media yet, we have um, Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. And so you could go on there and I've shared our High Plains um, pictures of all the different programs and health careers. You guys are on there quite a bit. So um, if you know any of those students or you can just call High Plains and um, ask for probably Mrs. McVicker or uh, Mrs. Bowers and they could probably contact um, get them the information to buy a ticket. So what are some of the, um, fu- what do these funds go towards? Do you guys know that? These funds go towards like us going to SLC and FLC to where we can go compete in state and just all of that, and like shirts and stuff for the chapter. Okay. Do you remember some of the other fundraisers you guys did last year that you'll plan to do this year? Um, last year we did a um, clothes drive for the homeless centers. Uh-huh. And um, so I think that'd be a good idea for this year. Um, I'm not, we haven't quite decided what other fundraisers we might do, um, but they're still in the process of figuring it out. Because you all just got elected officers two weeks ago, probably? A week, two weeks ago. A week. So have you had, um, just had your first meeting where you got inducted and into your roles and... Mm -hmm. Do you meet, have a meeting um, like once a month or once a quarter? We're trying to kind of start planning to have meetings more often than what we did last right. year and just have like more bonding experience between the chapter and officers. Okay, that's good. Um, so I'll just ask a generic question about maybe what's your favorite thing about being out at High Plains, um, you know, compared to like your favorite part of the day or, you know, just... Anything you'd want to say about your experience? For me, it's um, it's an opportunity to actually learn something that I'm really going to use in the future. Because getting a certificate from the High Plains, I can use that. And straight out of clinicals, I could be getting a job. Right. But through the high school, it's just a high school diploma. Yeah, you could be using the math in the future or some of the writing, but... I like how they teach us actual, like, real-life problems and what we would do in right. the future. You can really ap- apply what you're learning directly to why you're learning it right mm-hmm. there and then to apply it for your career in the future. And I think that is always always adds a lot more interest to what you're doing whenever you can connect those two, two things. So what about you? My favorite thing is that anytime you go to High Plains, you never meet a non-friendly face in the hallway. You always get told, good afternoon, how are you? And I just love how a friendly environment it is. Like anytime I meet any underclassmen, I'm telling them, like, please go to High Plains. Like, it's an unbelievable experience going. Well, that's awesome. We truly are one big family as a staff and then the students 
you're just the extended family and so I love how everyone can really feel that um, in the atmosphere and we're just glad to have you all out there so I hope you guys have a good year and thank you all for um, being tuning in we'll be here next week on 100.1 thank you